Good to yeah, go. Sean Kochi, your Mill Creek Valley game calls. Um, first thing I wanted to do was do some sequencing and, and calling and stuff. Um, we're gonna start off with like a plain hen yelp, okay? This is sort of like a hen that's just in the woods and she's just sort of trying to find that gobbler. She might be by herself, she might be like feeding, um, just walking along. You sort of gotta like put yourself in that picturesque of uh, um, the environment, um, her walking along and she just she just sort of, you know, soft clucking and then she does does a little bit of yelping, you know, your five to seven notes. Now, another thing that I want to go over is uh, the purring. Now, the way that we do this also is that you got to flutter the tongue a little bit. It's like a and that's that's the easiest way that I could teach you how to um, purr is the act that into the call. Some people will gargle with their throats. I, I mainly like to do it with uh, the tongue. The tongue flutter seems to, to make it a little bit easier. Now, step it up a little bit where you get two two gobblers, two hens, and they start uh, doing like a little bit of a, uh, of a fight. That purr is going to get a little bit more louder with the clucks. That's another good one uh, to mock a fake fight. Uh, it's just sort of like a buck when they when they when they go in fighting. Um, if anybody's in the thing, it's sort of like school, like when you're in high school and two people start fighting, and everybody else starts coming around to like check out the fight. Um, it's the same thing with turkeys. Turkeys are uh, um, uh, birds of a feather flock together, as the old saying says. Same thing is with the mouth call um, when they're they're hearing a fight. They they all want to come in. Um, let me let me pop in my other mouth call here for uh, the um, and this is going to be more like a uh, an assembly yelp type deal. Now another thing that I didn't go over that I like about mouth calls is is um, make sure that you wet the reeds individual reeds as you're you know make sure that there there's an actual separation of them. Um, sometimes you got to put them in your mouth for a little bit and warm them up. Um, because if they stick together and then you try and pull them apart, sometimes they'll rip and then you don't have your mouth call anymore. So just sort of wet them. And this one's already broke in, but you want to wet in between the reeds. Okay, so we're going to do the uh, assembly out. Ten to twelve notes. It just sort of it, it sort of elongates the the more you get out there. Um, throw in some clocks, make it uh, make it more realistic. The more that you can make it sound realistic to that hen or that gobbler, um, depending on what you're calling to. Because sometimes there might be a hen with that gobbler. Or the gobbler's not gobbling, but you're you're making that that hen sassy. You're making yourself sound sassy so that he you can bring that uh, uh, gobbler in. Uh, in tow with that hen so sometimes that's that's what we're calling at thank you